New Kingsman, welcome back to the Napoleonic Battlefield. Today we are continuing our tournament coverage for the Napoleonic League. We have the Peeps facing off against the 10th LR in, I believe, their first match. Now, um, we are observing the Peeps right now. The Peeps are coming as 10-point uh, France Imperial Guard, the 5-point Swiss, and then France 10-point Spain. Um, Sniper Smith UK is playing as a Swiss. Johnny Le Buffon is playing as Imperial Guard. And Mosley is going to be playing as the France uh, Spain. Now, they are going to, like I said, take it on the um, 10th LR, which we have seen. Both of these teams play other players. Um, 10th LR has done pretty decently well, I believe. So, their team, they're going to have Belfort playing as Helder. Saxony is going to be played by Smithy, and Zango is playing Sweden, which is. Maybe he's the one right here. I honestly don't know where Sweden is. Um, this is on a Russia 4 map. And uh, we've definitely seen this map before. A very hard fought uh, map in this little area right here around the town. Always, obviously, as the, the points kind of, you know, dictate that. Here we go. Here's Sweden. So Sweden's way over here. So uh, Saxony has some really good cav. Um, has really good cap to match up with the Imperial Guard. Um, so actually, Sweden has some pretty good heavies as well. Helder has a lot more Kazakis, um, shock resistant Lancers. They have some really good line infantry if they're bringing the uh, UK line infantry and then the Grenadiers for Russia. Now, of course, we do know the Swiss don't have as good of cav. Um, but they have some really large units for such a for a low five pointer. They have some really good units, in fact. Um, but you can see some of these are 164. Um, some of these more elite units even are uh, massive. I mean, these are really good stats. 248 men too. So Swiss are not, you know, don't don't disregard the Swiss just because they're a five pointer. They can pack a punch, and they of course are bringing some six pounders. The Imperial Guard is bringing the Ledoux, of course, the Lancers, and I'm assuming the uh, more Lancers. Yeah, so Lancers and Heavies, and then of course they are bringing a lot of Voltigeurs, Chasseurs. Let's see if they bring some Grenadiers. Chiliers, no Grens. They have Edward Mortier. Um, France, Spain is bringing a 12-pounder. And a four pounder, and then a good amount of infantry. I see some Trilliers mixed in there, possibly some Swiss. More Trilliers, yeah, some Swiss mixed in there. Some Grenadiers, and then they have some cavalry, some Dragoons, um, some Lights, and uh, I believe they have some Chasseurs Cheval. They may already be up at the front. Maybe they didn't bring them, maybe they're depending on the Swiss who have brought some Chevaliers and Chasseurs Cheval. But they are going to roll up here. I'm going to fast forward here. I just wanted to make sure to cover, you know, the army comps as best I can. At least let you guys get an eye for, oh yeah, Swiss has some some uh, scrims here as well. Um, but I just wanted, you know, to get an idea of what it's going to be like, what the uh, play is going to be. I'm not going to skip ahead because I want you guys to see what these teams do. This point matters. It matters if you decide to go down this road or cut this way or cut this way, you know. In the very long run, it will matter. So, you know, the uh, effects. Oh, we do have some skirmishers maybe trying to get to the house. And they are going to run away. Um, I guarantee you these Lancers are going to charge in unless Saxony... Yeah, Saxony has some Hussars that are protecting Helder's Cav. Helder does have some of the Gussaris um, pushing up to kind of have support this area. This is the point of contention, guys. This two-pointer is usually where armies are made or broken. Um, I'm wondering, Saxony brought a lot of cav. I'm wondering if they even brought any like infantry, maybe they brought one or two to help with like supporting their cav engagements. Um, as a general rule, Saxony's cav is not the greatest. We do have the, hustle, the uh, skirmishers rushing in here, and unfortunately there is nothing with the cav support of Saxony and Helder. These skirms are able to get in here. Now, they aren't gonna do as well in melee, but they have excellent shooting, reload skill, accuracy, all that fun stuff. So now that uh, they see they can't harass the LSC, it looks like France is actually going to fall back. The peeps are going to fall back here. And 10th LR is going to probably start setting up. Now the Swiss are advancing down the road. They have two line infantry. 
or three actually, but I don't think they're going to advance too far without, um, you know, a little more support. <clears throat> And actually, Saxony, oh, for a second, I thought Saxony was going to maybe charge these Lancers. Ledoux is in the front lines. This heavy is in the front lines here. So, uh, no artillery shooting on me yet, but they are being bold with their heavies. I mean, there could be a, a cav engagement, so I would understand why they'd want them, you know. Close. Up close and personal. You hear the pipes? Yeah, so we see some Russian musketeers for Helder so far. Kind of look like they should be in the Revolutionary War. You know? So, one point versus two points now is the status of the LOCs. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sweden does have some Cav, some Dragoons kind of scouting. This is just a scouting precaution. Imperial Guard has a lot of the Cav up front. Their army is actually going to probably be one of the first to hit the LOC. Um, with the Swiss behind, and then uh, Spain, France in the back to uh, reinforce. And, I mean, obviously, looks like Sweden's actually, they're all consolidating right here. It, it may be that the Saxon army did not bring a lot of line infantry. That's very possible. They brought a lot more cav. Um, the French army definitely is very heavy when it comes to... Uh, Infantry. They have every faction has some good infantry. The Imperial Guard, of course, a smaller faction when it comes to how much infantry they can bring, but the quality of it, the firepower of it, the, the morale of it is just, it's imperial. It's superior to most any army. Um, so they're definitely going to be a source. And they don't even, yeah, they're just going to line up here. The Swiss are here. We have Trillier setting up. Still no one. Let's see. Let me fast forward a little more here. Um, looks like they're going to hit. This is this is the normal strategy. Usually there's a fight over here. Where they push up and there's a fight over here. Now, I've always seen the defense win. So I'm kind of hopeful. I'm actually rooting for, sorry, peeps, but I'm rooting for the, um, or sorry, 10th LR, but I'm rooting for the, uh, the peeps here as they're the ones who are attacking. And uh, hopefully their attack will... Be successful because this is going to be a tough fight, I am sure. And yeah, the, the uh, let's see where France is going to go here. As the Swiss are going to push up, Imperial Guard going to also push up here. So we're getting we're getting near the action. Some hussars out. The cavs all falling back as the infantry is going to start pushing up. You still have Helder with some Zaris on the flank here. Still not a shot fired. No artillery in range, I do not believe. But France is getting their four pounders up. You can see that. Uh... Oh, hold on. We have some cav trying to go for the artillery. Helder sends some Kazakis around the back and wisely. The peeps guard their 12-pounders with some of their uh, cavalry. That is one thing that most people always end up losing, is uh, losing their artillery, because it just it's so slow. You know, and there's nothing you can do. They look like they may try to catch um, the Kazakis out. Do maybe, perhaps, we will get some fighting here, but let's, let's slow down here for a second, because uh, four pandas have set up. The Swiss are forming up in front of the Imperial Guard. Um... Imperial probably going to just be a good support for uh, the Swiss in their push. We do see a lot of Swedish infantry um, on this side forming up. Getting shot already by the uh, four pounders. So you know they're in range. I'm not killing a lot of them. But that's going to cause Sweden to definitely be like, okay, we're falling back, getting out of range, hiding the men behind buildings. You do not want to make it easy for the uh, enemy to kill your infantry. So falling back, wait for them to advance. You have skirmishers who probably have a good line of sight. Oh, do we have uh, Elder maybe getting very aggressive here with her Kazakis? 
There is line infantry here. But these guys are going to definitely fall back. I don't think they want anything to do with this solid defense that uh, the Swiss are presenting. Even though this is mostly militia, but they have a, they have stakes from these sappers. Hey, look at these sappers. Holy beards. That's an intense beard. It looks fake. <laughs> that doesn't look right. But, you know. Uh, so yeah, we do have the six pounders, more six pounders forming up. Maybe we'll see the twelve pounders up. Maybe the peeps will have an artillery advantage here. This is part of the battle I love the best. Right before something happens, you still don't know who's going to have it. Then like the tension, the tension is rising because you know someone's going to have to make a choice that is going to probably result in death. Maiming destruction in a matter of, you know, 10 minutes. All for our entertainment. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to keep fast forwarding, I guess. This battle, I, I mean, they're being cautious. I mean, like I said, guys, the, the thing I love about this tournament is that everybody is being so cautious because it is a tournament for money. Um, <clears throat> the stakes are higher than just a regular casual match. You are calculated with every choice you make, every decision you know could lead to you know total loss sax is actually getting forced back by this artillery so that'll be helpful if they can force back the uh, cavalry of uh, the coalition and if if saxony can't contribute much with their cav to this fight then it is uh gonna be a bleak outlook for the coalition here bleak outlook for the 10th lr look at this hole in this line well, they're going to fix it. Brave fellow is going to fix it, even though they know artillery just killed some men in front of them. They're actually taking some losses here to the artillery. Not a ton of losses, but still more losses than you'd like. Now, we do have the French pushing up here. Um, I would assume that the Swedish have artillery back here. Honestly, this is probably the best place for them. They sit up here, they fire. Um... Make it very difficult for the, uh, well, we got a lot of cab running around here. Okay, we do have some Saxon Musketeers on the left side here. Um, we do have uh, the Swiss being very, very cautious, having cab scouting. This is probably the point of which the uh, Saxon cab will push as the artillery can't turn to face them. But we do have the Swiss pushing up. They have the artillery pushing up. They have skirms pushing up, taking some shots off at the uh, Helder. Infantry, and it looks like the general advance has been ordered here. Oh, no solution. Actually, my apologies. I oh, used to try to do this before. So we have better quality. A lot of militia here in the front lines for uh, the Swiss. And uh, they have a backing of... One Swiss line of infantry and an Imperial Guard, so not a bad idea. Here we go, though. Here's Saxony advancing on the flank here. Or falling back on the flank, technically. They have some Grens, they have their combat gen, and they just just some Musketeers. Um, but I think they are uh, not wanting to go up against the Swiss, who are setting up artillery, as you can see over here on the left. Here, Cav. So think about that. I actually learned yesterday. These are C9s, which means they walk faster, but they don't run faster than C8s. Um, something I learned that I figured I'd share with you guys. Um, but yeah, they're definitely still faster than C7s. In so they're gonna, they're just gonna harass that side. Artillery for the Swiss going to. Uh, where are they firing? In the way back. They should be punching holes in the Saxon line. Because this is an exposed corner. Um, the rest of the uh, French are just sitting here. Sweden is content for the point, for the time being, to uh, sit on the defensive. Elder can hold this with some musketeers. And I think Saxony is going to try to push up here. The Swiss may have to march out with some of their line of infantry and militia on this flank. Oh my goodness. That was brutal. This guy is, will never, never see the end of this fight. 
I like how they have snow effect. You know? It's kind of cool. Well, they're going to advance. I think the Saxon attack is going to fail. That's my prediction. Unless they have Cab backing it up, this attack is going to fail. They have artillery up here and right here firing upon them. Unless Helder can make a huge advance, they are already taking some heavy losses. They're going to do their part, though. And this is militia, after all, but we have the backing of some Chessairs on the flank, possibly. Um, from the Imperial Guard. Although, oh, look at this. Helder has ran out his troops to kind of hit the flank here. And we have some Cav pushing up here. Some Dragoons are going to push up. Um, maybe go for this Militia. Possibly. Yes, they are. They're going in for the Militia here. The 10th LR smacking a lot of uh, Militia, which is going to cause the Imperial Guard to form square. Rush up their reserves for this Swiss. A lineup sure are going to ban that charge at the same time the Imperial Guard with some. Oh my goodness, what a well coordinated attack! The Saxony is going to use their line of infantry to push up at the same time as these Dragoons are pushing up. Maybe they can get some Saxon Cav to push in here, but all of a sudden, Helder and Saxony are just massing their infantry up here. Um, we do have Imperial Guard. Kind of uh, surrounding some of these units here, but I think Helder's trying to just punch through here. They even have some line infantry getting really close to this militia. This is a hot point right now, and thanks to the Tommy thing I have to cover. We have to have Grenadiers pushing up as well. More Grens right here. Who are now going to charge in, putting a lot of pressure on this French Swiss flank. France can try to hold over here. We do have more of the Saxon infantry pushing up over here, as well as more Grenadiers. Oh man, this is a lot of. Can't even talk. I'm too excited. A lot of melee capable factions pushing up here. You have the Grenadiers of Saxony backed by some more Grenadiers in the back of Helder, and they are just pushing this point. Saxony did so well with Helder. And now the Ladue is gonna have to charge in their heavies in order to even stop this uh Oh, there's a possibly a square that was formed. But Ladu is gonna charge in. Imperial Heavy is gonna charge in here. You can see that actually uh, this Imperial Guard is surrounding. I would pull back. I would tell everybody to pull back. Like Pull way back. This is this is where Helder's gonna excel. They have massive infantry just pushing up this road. Probably they have a lot of grenadiers here. Your truly heirs are very tired fighting this fight here. Vicious. Vicious fight here. And already France has Imperial Guard has lost several of their units. Um, and so has uh, the Swiss. Now we have a, a bayonet charge by the Voltigeurs. On several points. Now Helder's going to actually try to fall back. These are Musketeers. Their morale's a little shaky here. Possibly uh, the uh, Grenadier Cheval going to charge in the back. Try to break a lot of uh, Helder. They need to get their general over here to inspire these guys because you have more musketeers pushing up. Now, the Swedish are going on the offensive here as a Helder has been being very aggressive. Here we got another cav charge going at once more to try to support their line infantry. And, uh, yeah, Helder's going to have trouble against that. Over here, they have really pushed back the Swiss and the French. Artillery not doing as well as I would have thought. I think they should push back all the way to here. Let their artillery start really dictating the fight again. Um, they need to pull these heavies out. They're not going to do well. And uh, France, their Imperial Guard, France and Spain is actually probably going to get focused here. They're all by themselves. I'd be kind of concerned about that. I would fall back towards your allies at this point. Um, Helder has done an excellent job. They just waited till they attacked, which they have an advantage. 
His artillery is still very active, but we do have Chedlegeers now charging for the artillery piece. And there's nothing the Honest Steel Bella do about it. You need to, you need to rest your uh, Grenadier Cheval. They need to rest them. My Helder is now charging the rest of... Uh, they're trying to focus down the Imperial Guard here. Trying their best to uh, break them because that's such a potent army. The rest of France is going to go against Sweden. But Sweden has a lot of troops here. They actually probably will do very well against France and Spain as they are on their own. It is mainly the Swiss holding here. A lot of uh, infantry said Saxony probably realizes they don't have a lot of good quality infantry, but they are getting really close. That's why the Swiss are now Bane at charging them. All out slugfest, more cab now going in. Oh my goodness, look at this fight. Swiss actually are breaking as Saxony will be able to countercharge with the cavalry. We do have Helder charging and harassing the Grenadier Cheval here, uh, making sure that they don't get a chance to even get into out of the fight. And uh, very wise of them. Helder is pushing here. They have made a huge push out here. This being the spearhead down this road. This road is kind of pivotal here, and Saxony is trying to work on the rest of uh, the Swiss. They're just waiting for uh, this have an infantry to shift over here. Saxony doesn't even... I don't think Saxony brought any heavies. Very actually wise strategy, I think, because they're using Chevaliers and a lot of really good quality to just constantly charge, harass this army. These guys need to fall back. They're going to get bayonet charged or shot in the back. We have a bayonet charge. Chester is going in against some grenadiers. Uh, Helder has just split the Imperial Guard in France in two. Sweden just has to hold. Now look at this. These guys aren't even engaging here. They should push up and engage because it's a waste. They need them on this flank here. That was that, that happened so fast. <laughs> That fight was so fast. We still have a lot of melee here. The Swiss kind of duking it out with uh, the Grenadiers. All these Grens are going to do very well. You even have a lot of Chevaliers in the back lines, possibly going for the Swiss uh, general. As the Swiss are starting to crumble just because of the massive amount of cavalry that their enemy has brought. This is a very interesting Saxon build. Like I said, a lot of Chevaliers, Hussars, and then just line infantry, and it seems to be working really well for them. We do have uh, Helder getting very close, but Musketeers are about to get charged by some Lancers. That's probably going to break them. But I think I think the Swiss are getting isolated here by Helder and Saxony. We're using their cap to great effect. And there's not a whole lot of uh, choice for them to do but to mass up by their artillery and by this forest. This artillery is going to keep doing what they can to uh, shoot away at the Saxon line infantry. But they are isolated. It's up to France to pull this together. And their cap is starting to get in this fight. Thankfully, there was a lot of reserves for France, Spain. And it looks like they're going to engage the uh, Swedish. They have a slight advantage here. Oh, we do have some uh, Dragoons possibly going to go for... Uh... No, they're not going to. Uh, more French cab going against Hussars. Now Sweden's getting their cab engaged here. Saxony's starting to shift over cab. They're trying to defeat the Swiss as soon as possible here. 
Um, and they are doing it, so honestly, the Swiss have to stay alive long enough to be able to distract a lot of Saxony. To let Sweden, you know, France, Spain can break Sweden here. They just gotta be super careful here. That they don't break too fast. We do have Dragoons now charging in. They're gonna be countercharged by Dragoons of uh, France. Unfortunately, it seems like France is losing the calf fight here. They don't have enough. Trying to be as uh, protective as they can now, as they only have a couple cav units left. The Swiss, I do believe... Saxon? A general has died, I think. Uh, the Swiss are still alive, but barely. Um, trying to defend their artillery at this point. I feel bad. I, I, know, I know what this feels like. Um, Saxony actually may try to go in for the guns. This fight's basically over. Um, it's just a matter of time. We do have a huge charge here as the Swi Swedish, not the Swiss, the Swedish are getting bayonet charged by France and actually breaking in the center here. So France, Spain is actually doing an amazing job. We do have some Carabiners now charging in, trying to beat back the French assault, counter charging it, but they're gonna get charged by some Dragoons. As uh, Sweden definitely had a huge mass route there. So this fight is not over. France is holding strong on this side. Helder has a couple units there now sending over to help on this fight, but Sweden may have just had a huge loss. Um, it's going to be up to maybe Saxony hurrying up and getting this fight over with. Cab and uh, infantry going in. I think Sweet, uh, the Swiss are going to take a lot more efforts probably than he would like, than the coalition would like to deal with. They are definitely chewing up a couple of the Saxon units. And, uh, France definitely looks like they're doing pretty well here. In fact, they may even, there's way more units of French than there are of Swedish on this side. And Sweden just lost their heavies. They do have another Cressier. Thank goodness, they have another heavy. They're going to need it because look at all this infantry running past them as routing. So now France has a decision to make. I think it's a very easy decision, to be honest. you got to push and take on Sweden. You gotta ignore this, because the Swiss are dead, basically. Um, there's a couple units. We do have some sappers with those weird beards. Fighting Saxony's troops, but they are getting shot by some musketeers here. What's remaining of them are falling back. And Saxony needs to uh, start ignoring the Swiss and pushing over to help against this fight, because your ally ain't doing so hot. But your ally is running, having a mass rout. Um, some of the units did come back. They like so they still have heavies, so they are still potent. Um, and the Imperial Guard is definitely still in this. What a fight, though, that raged over this area right here. I mean, you get so close, and Helder just shows up. Look at this one guy, he's just standing here, he's like, what happened? He's shocked. <laughs> Hold on, this could be a, this could be an interesting thumbnail. I know I'm missing stuff. <laughs> he's like a statue. So, Sweden has managed to get themselves away. Um, like I said, the French are going to have a decision to make. Helder is pretty, probably pit, badly bloodied here. I can't imagine that they uh, have a lot of men left. We do have the Guard Imperial rushing forward trying to catch these uh, Helder Grenadiers out. They're trying to probably uh, get out of there. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna rout. They got volleyed by the Imperial Guard. Uh, so Sweden probably is going to march over and uh, join their allies here, try to consolidate around the LLC because the Imperial Guard has a, enough 
Wait, they could probably take this LOC. That's exactly what they're doing. We do have Criassiers charging up, trying to take on these Lancers of France. These Grenadiers are going to get in the house with the Skirmishers. They are shaken. They have taken a lot of loss this year, but... Um, the Swiss have fallen back to this pointer, one pointer. And uh, that may be what uh, Saxony is going to try to go for. Now, what do they have in here? They have their general and they have some chiliers, some skirmishers. If they could get this line of infantry up here, then they could win. Now, they're not going to probably win with skirmishers and a general. But they can try. I mean, they have to try at least. Oh, what? Oh, no. Which general was this? Did Saxony run their general through the state? Oh, Saxony did not notice these spikes. That is very unfortunate. Their morale is going to be affected here. Um, like I said, they will do well. Here, I think their musketeers will do well. The uh, general for Swiss is standing right here. He could die very easily. And I think the Swiss will lose that. Yeah, they, they killed him. And they took it. So, France has only one option. The peeps have one option. They need to take this LOC. And take it rather quickly. Um, before the rest of Saxon Cavanaugh gets... I mean, I guess at this point, it doesn't matter. They're going to rest their men up, I would assume. They're going to need the Imperial Guard. Their men are tired. They do have some fresh men. I'm surprised they're not pushing with all these fresh troops. But I think there's like gonna be two phases of this battle. That was the first phase. This is the second phase is the figuring out. Yeah, you're better getting shot though. I mean, yeah, they're getting shot at. I'm gonna assume that now they're going to assault. Yeah, we do have the Imperial Guard pushing up here. They are going to have some problems with the. Uh, Caressiers of Sweden who are going to try to maybe do a mass route here. That is their only option at this point. So I guess at this point, there's not a whole lot really to say. Um, there's one Swedish... I mean, there's one Swiss unit still over here. That is trying to hold by this LOC. That's gotta be fun. You know, you know there's Saxon infantry all around you. Although they're probably gonna fall back to the LOC. I think the French can still take this, actually. Unless the calf saves the day. Because you have a lot of French just pushing up here that are really fresh. And they outnumber you. Vastly outnumber you. Uh, they still have cav that can defend their army. I think Imperial Guard can shoot outshoot the uh, Swedish right over here. It, I mean, it's not going to be an easy fight, but definitely I think can be a fight that the... Uh, Peeps can still win. I don't think the Swedish have enough troops. They're gonna get surrounded here. In fact, even these Grenadiers are shaken now. They're gonna do their best to fire, but... I don't know. The French are sneaking in behind him. I get one Swiss unit right here and just try to shoot in the back of this Swedish line. Because the rest of the Swedish have abandoned these two units to their death, basically. More Swedish over here, but thankfully the French have some uh, units. They even have some chasseurs over here. But they have units to kind of watch that flank. There we go. 
Yeah, Sweden's starting to really break. Um, I'm not sure what the plan is for the coalition. Do we have Helder pushing out? Wait, they're broken. And now it's just skirmishers left, guys. And we got some grenadiers pushing up. And that's why the cuirassiers are gonna mass up here. Some some grenadiers of France, Spain. Oh my goodness. That is brutal. Like I feel like that's a little overkill there. You freaking whack him in the stomach with a musket. Then kicking him in the neck, and then stabbing him. <laughs> Great. That's what you call a little bit of overkill, I feel like. These skirmishers, once they actually close in with these grens, I feel like they're not going to do too hot. And these cuirassiers, unfortunately, it, it's going to be a death sentence. They're going to go up against a couple of squares. Get countercharged by some dragoons of France. Um, if they can push up some line infantry with it, then maybe they can push. But right now, the LOC looking pretty good now for the uh, peeps. As they've captured this two-pointer. Maybe a question of anyone in any of these one-pointers. Which France is actually going to take, so... I would say this is actually going to turn out to be... Despite the Swiss being slain, torn apart... I think this is going to be a victory for the uh, peeps, for the uh, Imperials, which that was not a, this is not an easy one for them. I mean, France and Spain, thankfully, was able to stay intact. The Swiss lost a huge, lost huge in the one big old charge. What's left of the Swiss is, or the Swe Swedish are going to probably attack here. Fast forward here, uh, it's... Yeah, Sweden's just gonna start routing one at a time. There are only eight minutes left in this replay, though. So, for 37 minutes. They captured yet another LOC. Actually, the Swiss went in for this LOC as well. So, the Swiss may have been beaten for the most part, but possibly gonna take back their LOC. It's like they have a group huddle right here. I don't know what this is, but yeah, they took it. They're going to take it. And uh, a victory for the peeps here. Um, well done, S Sniper Smith UK took the brunt of that and obviously had heavy losses. But it was worthwhile, and in the end, he still was able to take back his LLC. So well played. Uh, I really loved how Helder played Belfort. That was a really, really good replay. Uh, charge at the very beginning. I mean, utilizing your cab and infantry, and even Saxony, how they uh, were able to hold their army mostly together throughout that entire. I've not really seen that. Um, usually, Saxony's line of tree lose. But unfortunately, Zango had to go up against a huge a, a French army and uh, did not do very well. So. Uh, you see the losses and kills here. Definitely, uh, Smithy did the best on his team. And uh, the Imperial Guard did best on their team, but other uh, France was close behind. So, all right, guys, that is about it for me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.